Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 have finally come out. And along with that comes vaping. Come on guys, PlayStation, you gotta, you gotta find people a way to vape. I guess that's how we win these wars. This battle between Xbox and PlayStation has been going on for over years, but it is all bullshit to be honest. Xbox and PlayStation, in my opinion, had similar kind of things, there wasn't much of a larger difference, but this year, with the new direction that Xbox is going, it might as well has defeated PlayStation. Now I do say that Xbox has defeated PlayStation, but actually that's not it, it's more in the words like Xbox is a little bit better than PlayStation at the moment. To be honest, I don't even care about this console war. I, I'm not in either side. I just love games. Whether the games are coming on Xbox or on PlayStation or on PC, definitely not in mobile, not playing games in here, but I love to play games on these platforms. The most important thing, however, is what these platforms provide. And at this moment, I believe Xbox is providing more. With this new direction of Xbox, one doesn't even need to buy an Xbox Series X unless you just need to vape. But even if you consider the earlier consoles, Xbox One X, it was bigger and bulkier in many ways, which Series X is not anymore. It's small, compact and kind of cute. Not only that, Xbox Series S, which is like an ideal PC for people who do casual gaming or maybe just getting into gaming, because I believe it's much more better to buy Xbox Series S than building a PC. And to be honest, the same goes for Xbox Series X as well and even for PlayStation 5. Both of these consoles are the best version that they could ever create this year. With fast loading times, great looking visuals, strong performance with 4K textures and 60fps. All of this makes this console much more better than before and that goes for both PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. But the thing that makes Xbox great is what they are providing. As I said, you don't need to buy an Xbox console because the main goal for Xbox is not to let anyone buy their console, it's also to connect gamers together. They don't want to separate the gamers to play the games based on platforms, but rather bring them together. And with that, their biggest creation is Xbox Game Pass. Yeah, yeah, I know that I have made a video about Xbox Game Pass and everything you need to know about it, but don't worry, I'm just gonna give a 15 minutes brief description. With Xbox Game Pass, one can play games on PC, consoles and even mobile with a subscription fee so low that it makes it a great deal. With so many games being added every week and not only Xbox first party games but also third party games. And next month we will also have EA Play in it. With this amazing pass, gamers will join the Xbox family and grow this connection to play games with whatever system they have, whether it's an Xbox console, a PC or even a mobile. This was their biggest goal, connecting everyone, which PlayStation just cannot provide because truth be told, their biggest revenues come from their exclusives and their biggest selling point is also exclusive. So having a Game Pass in PlayStation will lower that revenue but it will also be a great thing for gamers because then one can play really cool exclusives with a subscription. Yeah, you can talk about how PlayStation has PlayStation Plus, but every month they do give a free game that is sort of exclusive sometimes. But even though that is a good thing, Xbox Game Pass does it much more better because you have a huge library of games that you can play that PlayStation just cannot provide. Not only that, Microsoft is also acquiring more and more studios and the more they acquire, the more beneficial it becomes because people will plan to buy these Game Passes just to play those games. Xcloud is also helping people play games on their mobile phones which is absolutely insane. But all of this doesn't mean that one should not get Xbox Series X. Their console is as important as anything because they are rediscovering themselves to make sure that the performance is as smooth, as crisp and as high quality as possible and without a doubt Xbox has done that because everybody is having a great experience with Xbox Series X. They have experienced these crisp 4K textures and 60fps performance and it is just lovely. Now one of the things that people argue about a lot is how a PC can easily match up and even perform better than Xbox consoles as well as PlayStation consoles. And to be honest, they're right. With a great built PC, a game will have an amazing performance, amazing visuals and will perform better than that of consoles. But there's a big difference between building a PC and buying a console. One can build a PC spending thousands of dollars and then get an amazing performance that will last for years or one can buy a $400 to $500 console which will give you amazing performance as well as with games that are built for those platforms only. And that will also go for years to come. For example, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One have gone for so long and now they are bringing a next gen console. 
At the end of the day, it depends upon what you want. Is it just to play games or to do some more work alongside playing games? But I would say this as well, you don't need to have these console wars because it sounds so stupid. If you want to play a PlayStation game, play the PlayStation game. If you want to play an Xbox game, play an Xbox game. And if you want to play a PC game, play the PC game. Just play the games. You don't even need to care about what performs better, who is better than whom. Who cares? If you're playing games, we play the games. PlayStation is bringing some amazing exclusives and Xbox is also having their own exclusives as well as Xbox Game Pass. They're expanding on it and so much more is gonna come so it's just a time to play games. With Xbox Game Pass being the strongest thing that they have ever built, they are one step ahead of PlayStation and there's more to come to Xbox. So I think it's now the best time to join the Xbox family and play all the games that you might be you know, stopping yourself from. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you did not, you can leave a dislike. And also subscribe for more awesome content just like this. And also stay safe and keep on playing games.